Good evening everybody and as you can probably tell it is not November. I'll explain in a minute. So a job I finally managed to do was to put these wind deflectors on. They've been sitting in the garage for a while now, but I got them on and actually it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. These front ones were slightly harder to get in and I didn't want to crack the plastic getting them in, so I did break off a little bit off the end, but it's fine, it still works and there's a clip in there that holds them all in place. So yeah, that'll be good for the next time I go stealth camping because I'll be able to crack the windows a bit just to avoid some of the condensation forming. Um, another job I needed to do was the curtain pole. Now my cunning plan was to try an extendable curtain pole um, and then take the ends off when the pole arrived. So here you can see the ends, but it didn't work. And in the end I just cut holes in the ceiling and put the poles in. So it works, it does the job. Now I've got some blackout material as well, which they didn't have black, so I ended up with chocolate brown now I'm going to ask my lovely wife to sew these up properly so there won't be no gappage at the top and then with the sides I'll probably use some kind of popper or velcro to hold them down to make it completely black out So, the update is, largely thanks to COVID-19, our Scotland holiday had to be cancelled, unfortunately. Um, and furthermore, because I've still got what I think is a chest infection, I am going to have to cancel my November run as well, or at least defer it until next year. So because of that, that's why I'm currently here. And here is the lovely little village called, well, it's written Rotham, but it's pronounced Rutum. It's a place I've been to before, I've come here with the, with the family, and it's a good access way to the Pilgrim's Way walk, which is along here. And where I'm parked up, as you can see here, is on a very quiet little road. In theory, it's a dead end road, but it's not, but it should be relatively quiet. There were some kids over in the park over there when I got here, having a bit of a smoke, shall we say, judging by the smell coming off them, but they've soon gone and now it's just me here on my lonesome. As you probably saw in the short that I did, the little YouTube short, I've changed the lighting and I've gone for the LED strip lighting in, in here now. Um, 
I thought it'd make more sense and it looks, I suppose it's better in terms of filming to you get a better light. I have done the whole look outside to see how much light escapes and it's not, I mean these things aren't completely blackout. The blackout curtain I've got on there is doing a good job but the LED, there is some light escapage but I'm actually parked underneath a lamp again. I always seem to park under lamps but I think that's because when you park under a lamp it kind of naturally hides some of the light escaping from your vehicle. Now everyone who has these LED lights knows that these, these was £5 from Amazon. It covers almost all the car, it covers enough, it covers what, over 50% and it has this lovely high-tech remote control and it has excellent modes like this. And if you're interested by the wattage on these lights, they are only 6 watts. So the Jackery has it at 6 watts. Um, I've, had him, I've had them on since I've been back in the car and it's only used 1% so it's negligible really. So what the plan is, I've just gone for a little walk around Rutum. Um, the light didn't last particularly well. I did take the drone out too. I've been starting to practice with that a little bit more. So, but unfortunately by the time I got to the place where I could use the drone, it was dark basically. So although I used it, you wouldn't know I'd used it. But anyway, let's have a little look around Rutum. So, it's seven o'clock. I'm not going to make the mistake I made last time I camped and have a, deep, have a caffeinated coffee because we know what happened then. Um, so what I think I'll do, I will make myself a nice little decaf.
I think the thing for today, whilst what I've said, I suppose, on this channel, the idea of me doing a stealth camp is I stealth camp and run. That's the idea. Obviously, I can't, but where the holiday was cancelled and I've been um, not particularly well over the last few weeks, I just really needed to get out. So interestingly, this will be my first stealth camp that I've not been in a car park. I do tend to lean towards car parks as a rule of thumb. Whenever I'm looking, or when I've been looking at places, I've always looked at car parks. But I think where this place was so, this road is so quiet, I thought I could get away with it. So fingers crossed, it'll be okay. So as you saw at the start of the video, I've got the blackout curtain now and I've put up the extendable curtain pole. However, although the curtains aren't sewn up yet, they are doing quite a good, it's doing quite a good job. It's certainly a lot better and um, there's no chance it's going to fall on my head tonight. So that's win-win. So yeah, this is me lying on the bed. I don't think I've ever actually shown you. Um, super cosy tonight actually, it's quite warm. But yeah, so all I've got on the bed, I've got a sleeping bag, which from past experience has kept me very warm. If things do get cold, I've got a blanket under that as well, but hopefully that won't be needed. And a question you might be thinking of, using the porta potty in your car in such a small confined space <laughs> what is it like well it's not as bad as you would think it would be um, obviously the porta potty has chemicals in it so it does absorb the smells so yeah it is it's not bad and it is a lot easier just to be able to just sit yourself down and do what you need to do without having to go out and it makes life just a hell of a lot easier Here you go, another canned food special, stewing steak, boiled potatoes and carrots. A super important thing that I remembered this time, and it's the thing that I forgot last time, was the salt mill or salt grinder. It needs salt. It's funny how meals remind you of memories. This to me, stewed steak, potatoes, canned carrots reminds me of my childhood when we used to go camping around Europe albeit it was smash but it was smash canned stewing steak and canned carrots I love it never have it until now and car camping another super important tip that I can tell you all when you use canned stewing steak once you've opened it don't run your finger around the edge to get that last little bit of gravy because if you do that you slice your finger which leads to my next important tip, always keep a first aid kit, because you never know when you'll need a plaster. Well, I tell you what, using the wind deflectors are actually really good. I mean, for me, I have those mesh things on the window anyway, and then behind that, I have the cardboard weed blackout, but actually just to be able to crack the windows and know that I could leave it down like that all night, both sides, it creates a really nice cool breeze in here it clears out all the smells and all the food and everything else so yeah I can see why people use them now sound investment so I was going to dim the lights and take down the back screen and show you what it's like outside but the phone doesn't pick up anything it's just completely black out there um, yeah i don't want to step outside and show you so you have to take my word for it it's completely dead out there and it's very quiet um it is 11:30 now which is actually around about my bedtime 
if it's raining in the morning, I'm probably just gonna pack straight up and head off home. I tend to wake up early whenever, or even when I'm at home. And it's no different when I car camp. Unlike, um, there's a lot of people who I watch on here who can sleep in till 10, 11, 12 o'clock. Never me, no, I'm always more like a 6 a.m. kind of person. So if I can have a little lay in tomorrow or two, I don't know, half six, that'll be grand. But anyway, all right, well, I'm gonna switch off, pack up, and I will switch off and go to bed even, and I will see you in the morning. Okie dokes, see ya. Well, good morning. And the time is, as I predicted, six o'clock, and I'm awake and finding it difficult to go back to sleep again. Interestingly, I did actually have to move last night at about two o'clock in the morning. Reason being, where I was parked, I was on a very slight slope and I thought parking head up, I would be okay. And let's just say I discovered why you don't park on a slope, your inner ear. It goes a bit weird. And I was lying down and I just could not get comfortable and I was feeling a bit sick. It was two o'clock and it kind of dawned on me, it was the slope. So I managed to um, just literally drive just around the corner. So I've driven down, just parked up here. I'll show you in a minute when I get up. So I'm going to try and get my head down, maybe get an extra hour. It has been raining on and off, so I won't be taking the drone out or going for a walk. And then um, I make myself a coffee, pack up and go home. So I'm going to nod back off for a bit. I will see you soon. Well, I made it to quarter past eight. And this is where you can see the amount of light that comes through. Quite minimal really, just small bits. Let's have a look outside, let's see what it's like. And this is where I am, just on the corner. So I was parked earlier, just up there, and now I'm here. So quiet, there's even a few cars driving past this morning. And that's it. Cool, right, I need a coffee. Okay, well that's me pretty much done. I've had my coffee, I've had my breakfast bar, so I am going to scoot off home now. As you can probably hear, it is chucking it down. So I was right that I wouldn't be able to take the drone out, which is a shame, but hopefully next time. So yeah, so the next one, I will still stealth camp on the 13th of November. But as I said, it's not going to be an ultra. It'll be much like this. It'll be a, a car camp and just a little wander somewhere. Not quite decided where yet. But I hope you've enjoyed my little extra stealth camp today yesterday and um, yeah I'm sure there's three words that I should say at the end of my videos I think it's supposed to be like sub and bell but um, I don't normally so I start now take care